Hello friends, in this video we will try to discuss a linear transformation and uh, uh, we will uh, discuss about the injectivity of the linear transformation, surjectivity of the linear transformation. We will try to find the basis of the kernel of T and then after we will try to find the matrix representation of T with the given, with respect to the given basis. So let's move on our question. The question is uh, we have given a linear transformation T from R3 to R3 and T defined as T of x, y, z is equal to x plus y, y plus z and uh, 2y plus 2z. Uh, next is the, where the basis beta equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1 for the domain and basis for codomain is gamma which is 100010 and 001 that is a standard order basis and on this basis on this linear transformation we have question that is the linear transformation is injective next is find the basis of kernel of t and then after is the linear transformation is surjective and then find the matrix representation of t with respect to the given basis. Let's discuss the first question. The, is the linear transformation injective? So, when a linear transformation is injective, the answer is if T of x1 is equal to T of x2, we have two images equal. This implies that x1 is equal to x2, then we will say the given linear transformation is injective. But we will not use this trick. There is a very simpler way to uh, find that, uh, to get that the given linear transformation is injective or not. Now we know that image of zero vector under any linear transformation is zero, right? That means if T is injective, then T of x, y, uh, z is equal to zero implies x y z is equal to zero vector if this case happen for the our linear transformation then we will say t is a injective linear transformation so let's check here this condition if we reach at this condition then our case is resolved otherwise t is not injective now assume t of x y z is equal to zero this implies what is, what is t of x, y, z is x plus y, y plus z, 2y plus 2z equal to 0, 0, 0. Here is 0 vector. So, this implies x plus y is equal to 0, y plus z is equal to 0 and 2y plus 2z is equal to 0. So, this is the same as if we resolve this, we will get y plus z is equal to 0, the same equation as here. Now, let's solve these two cases. x plus y is equal to 0 and y plus z is equal to 0. This is the system of linear equation. If we solve that, we will get uh, x is equal to minus y and y is equal to minus z. This implies x is equal to z, y is equal to minus z. Now let's form the solution set of this linear uh, system of linear equation. So let w is equal to uh, w equal to uh, in place of x we can write z. So z in place of y we can put minus z. So this is minus z and z is itself z and z belongs to r. So this is the uh, solution uh, set of this system of linear equation and observe this set is the collection of vector such that image uh, under our t is equal to 0. That means, for example, if you take z equal to 1, then a vector will be from w is 1, minus 1 and 1. Now, if you take image of this 1, minus 1, 1 of this vector, we will get uh, t equal to x plus y. So, here 1 minus 1, x plus y and next is y plus z and 2y plus 2z. So, next is the second coordinate is 
minus 1 plus 1 and third coordinates is minus 2 plus 2 which is equal to this 0 vector. So we are getting for this vector image is 0. Similarly this set is the collection of vectors which having image 0. That means our linear transform transformation this T is not injective. Now let us uh, solve the second uh, question. The second question is find the basis of the kernel of T. So what is kernel of T? Kernel of T is the uh, collection of vector from the domain vector space such that uh, image of uh, that vectors is actually 0. So observe that uh, whatever we find found here W, W is actually the collection of vectors which having image under T is 0. So here actually uh, W is the kernel of T and you can check that this W forms a subspace of the domain vector space. So kernel of T equal to this W. Now uh, we need to our question is to find the basis of, of this kernel of T. So observe here only Z is the variable. So in place of Z we can put 1. So we will get the vector 1 minus 1 and 1. So using this vector we can run generate this whole uh, W or this kernel of T. So basis of kernel of T is actually this set. Now let's discuss the third question. The third question is, is the linear transformation surjective? So to solve this question, this surjectivity of the T, we can uh, solve two methods. After finding the linear transformation, uh, matrix representation of the linear transformation, we can conclude. And also there is another way using the rank nullity theorem. We can also conclude that uh, this linear transformation is surjective or not. So first what is the rank nullity theorem? So rank nullity theorem is suppose we have a linear transformation T uh, from uh, V to W then rank of this lin linear transformation T uh, plus nullity of T equal to dimension of V that is domain. Now for the our case domain space is R3. So and dimension of R3 is actually 3. So here is 3 and uh, and our uh, here W is also R3. Now what is rank of a linear transformation? So rank of a linear transformation is the dimension of the image space and nullity of a linear transformation is the dimension of the kernel of t. So as we have seen previously that the kernel have only one element in the basis that means the nullity of the, our linear transformation is 1. So if we solve this equation so this rank of t equal to for our linear transformation this is equal to 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2. So we found the rank of our lin linear transformation is 2. Now suppose this linear transformation is surjective. So when the linear transformation is surjective then image of this t equal to codomain which should be equal to this R3 and this dimension of R3 is actually 3 and uh, image dimension of image is actually rank of linear transformation and we have calculated that this is 2. So dimension of image which is 2 and dimension of codomain is 3. This implies that 3 equal to 2 which is absurd. So that means this linear transformation is not surjective. Now our next question is uh, find the matrix representation of T with respect to the given basis. Our basis are uh, beta for domain is beta which is 1 0 0 and uh, 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 and for the codomain which is gamma uh, is uh, actually standard order basis. 
now to find the matrix representation uh, of t we need to find the image of is each element in the basis and need to expand uh, along the uh, basis of uh, codomain and need to find the matrix so we need to find the image of uh, 100 so t100 equal to uh, 100 and if we uh, expand along this basis we will get the same as 100 plus 0 010 plus 0 times 001 now uh, the image of second element of the basis is uh, 110 equal to 2 this is uh, 1 and this is 2 now if we expand along this standard order basis this is the same writing 2 1 0 0 plus 1 0 1 0 plus 2 0 0 1 now the image of third elements is t 1 1 1 equal to 2 2 and this is 2 plus 2 so which is equal to 2 2 and 4 and now if we expand along the standard order basis which is same as 2 1 0 0 plus 2 0 1 0 plus 4 times 0 0 1 so matrix representation of t with respect to beta and gamma equal to uh, this first column will be the uh, this uh, as we expanded this vector so here the first column will be 1 and this is 0 and this is 0 the second column will be these entries will come this 2 1 2 and the third column will be these entry will come that is 2 2 4 so this is the matrix representation of t with respect to beta and gamma thank you